hope you get that reference. Um, it's a little obscure. Anyways, Resale Rabbit here. Um, bathroom selfie. Doing this all in one take. So, but I'm just gonna flip this around. This is this is weird. Um, actually, I want to show you something that I found on a pallet that I installed here. This is our bathroom light switch now. It's funny, right? All right. Anyways, so uh, lots of things. I want to start out by saying that my New Year's resolution. By the way, it is. I always like to tell the date on the video. Uh, keeps me accountable, so I don't end up uploading it six months later. It is Sunday, January twenty third. That's right. It is Sunday. Why am I here on a Sunday? I made my New Year's resolution that I was going to be better at YouTube at doing more videos and it is now almost the end of January and I still haven't done one this year. So I said, you know what, I'm coming in here on a Sunday, I'm going to do some rambling and ranting on video and I'm going to show you some cool stuff. I got three truckloads in over the course of like four days. That was terrible, but I'm going to show you those, uh, talk about some stuff. You know, the past few months, there have been some big changes in my personal life. All good things, don't worry. You guys know, I don't really do personal stuff on YouTube, so I'm not going to go into them. Um, I'll, I'll mention a couple, okay. Uh, so, the surgeries, the dental stuff, the, the bone replacement and everything in my jaw. I've mentioned that earlier, people have been asking about it. Going well, um, I have four screws sticking out of my jaw right now that I'm playing with all the time. Um, the left side will be done in March, end of March. So that'll all be complete. And then we start ripping stuff out on the right side, doing the bone grafts and everything. The, the donor material that I got from the dead person is adhering well to my jaw. So that's going well. It's horribly painful and absolutely miserable, but it's going well. Uh, what else? I think that's the only thing that I really want to share on here. I don't know. Maybe there will be more, and I'll think about it later. My arm is getting really tired here. Oh, I need to go back to the gym more. I do go to the gym, but mostly like mobility stuff. That's another long story. Anyways, so um, three truckloads. Let's take a walk, and I'll show you just how. This is all just empty cardboard that we need to get rid of. Um, you can see this place is an absolute nightmare. Uh, this has emptied out quite a bit, and that, and you can see it's it's not empty at all. We've got a Staples truck right here. Staples is exciting to me because when I first started in the liquidation side of the business, I was getting Staples very regularly, and then business changed and Staples kind of disappeared, but I was able to get one, so that's exciting. We've got, this wasn't a truckload, it was four pallets, but this is, you're never going to believe it. Toys R Us. Again, it is 2022. Did I say the year earlier? I've been saying 21 a lot. It is 2022. Um, Toys R Us closed in 2017, if I remember right. Uh, why did I get this? Well, it sat in a warehouse after a store closed for almost four years. And I bought it out of South Carolina, and it wasn't cheap, and there was no way I could effectively get it shipped here. But... I had a truck coming up from Atlanta that had a little bit of space, and uh, I was able to get a favor from that company. So I had these four pallets, there's one up there, shipped to from South Carolina to Atlanta, put on that truck, and then brought up here. This stuff, I'm not really even going to go through it for a while. Um, our Christmas sale did really well. Oh, news there. Hold on. Back up, back up. Our Christmas sale. Every year we do a warehouse sale. Week after Thanksgiving, it opens. It's our Christmas, Black Friday sale, whatever. Best sale we ever had. We did over $80,000. 80 grand in nine days. It really made up for the uh, two sales before that that were pitiful, especially that $50,000 sale. I kind of cried a little bit after that one. I know that sounds like a lot of money, but there's it's a lot of cost that goes into these things too. Um, so anyways, these toys, because I saw how well toys were doing, are just being held on until we do the, the next Christmas sale. So they're gonna go up on the racks eventually. I might sort for eBay beforehand, you know, in the next couple of weeks, but um, they're not, none of this is gonna go in the sale until Christmas time. So anyways, we've got staples, we've got that. 
Uh, let's take a walk over here. That, that doesn't count as one of the four truckloads, um, but it did come in on one of them. Now uh, we'll take a, a cruise back here. We've got Amazon. I got another Amazon load. This is a little different than the last one. Similar type of stuff, but it's um, a lot more retail package, some more brand name type stuff. Um, this is, um, I think it was 7,500. It was, and it was super cheap. They gave it to me for five grand. Um, they're a little taller than the Gaylords from the other Amazon load. You can see there's better stuff in here. And these are customer returns. <clears throat> Uh, some decent stuff and then lastly I've got squeeze through here bur buried behind all of this stuff a Target slash Walmart case pack load now Target and Walmart is usually coming direct from Target and Walmart when I get it this one's a little different it's a mix it was cheaper it was I think around 10 grand all three of these loads combined were about thirty thousand dollars which is super cheap for three full loads um, anyways, the reason this one was cheap and the reason it's a mix is because I bought it from a broker who cherry picked. Everyone says, don't buy anything that's been cherry picked, but this is actually going to work out really well for me. And here's why for starters, it's cheaper. Yeah. They took all the high dollar stuff, the eBay stuff and whatnot off. I'm not going to find anything like that on here, but I bought it for the sale. I don't need it for eBay or anything like that. Um, and I saved enough money to make that worthwhile. Additionally, it's not as deep in skews. You can see there's a lot more variety of boxes on these. Uh, whereas before I might get an entire pallet of meat thermometers, which I got from Walmart or 25,000 of those little stupid dollar kids books, which I got from Target. Not getting that here because it's, they split those up into different loads to uh, make them a little more desirable. I have a feeling I will be buying more of these leading in to sales. I'm really liking them so far. Um, and then there's some that isn't case packed. I don't know what the deal is here because those aren't Target stickers on them. But I mean, this is still quality merchandise. So I'll be happy with that. So anyways, those are the three loads plus Toys R Us. Currently going through them right now for our next warehouse sale, which will be February. Uh, 3rd through the 13th and the reason we chose those dates is because you see that Black box with the gray lid there. There's three pallets of those. That's all Valentine's Day stuff I think one of them is actually back here. Yeah, you can kind of see it through the gap right there You see some red that's sitting on top of it um, Anyways Valentine's stuff. We want to get that sold So that's why the last day of the sale is the day before Valentine's Day We'll put them out. It's mostly dollar day type stuff. So it'll be like three days, I think, beforehand. Uh, let's take a walk back here. If anybody wants some Halloween stuff, I've got all that back there. I don't know how close I can get. Um, I can pack it all in the Gaylords like this. It's all in the Dollar General boxes. But um, this, I would imagine I could get eight to ten pallets like this as well as, here, let's walk back over here. There's more stuff that I'll be throwing on. <clears throat> oh, the joys of doing this in one take. Uh, can we get to it to show you what it is? Oy. These pallets of cleaning products, I think there's six of them total. They are leaking. They're not all leaking. Um, all of that plus several more pallets for like 1500 bucks. Uh, so if anybody is interested, please let me know. Um, this will be a dedicated semi truck. I don't know if it'll fill the whole truck, but it'll come close. <clears throat> so um, unless you want to pick it up, it's going to have to go to a place with a forklift or a dock. They don't do lift gates, as far as I know, on the full trucks. Uh, but anyways, 1500 bucks. if anyone's interested. There will be a few others that I'll throw in, such as that Christmas pallet, that Christmas pallet, and probably some more stuff. Um, probably some of those books and the pallet of toilet flushers. Just all the stuff, the crap that's been sitting here forever. We need space, so I'll sell it at a loss just to get rid of it. Um, but anyways... 
Oh, and if someone is interested, um, it can't ship until after the warehouse sale because as you can see, I've got no space here. Uh, that's a nice palette that came from Staples. Boxes, those always come in handy. So let's go through some of this stuff. And we're 10 minutes in already and I don't want this video to run on forever. So we'll go through some of this stuff. I'll show you some of what we've got here. Uh, can't really go through these that easily, but you can see there's just all sorts of stuff. This is a Walmart Target palette. Uh, moving on over here, a uh, whole bunch of frozen soda that I've been rinsing off. One of those actually exploded in my face, so that was fun. Uh, let's see, here's some of the, oh, that one's almost empty. I'm kind of sorting some of these boxes. This is like for Dollar Day. Um, Staples has a lot of awesome stuff. Here's some of the stuff that's going out on $10 day. You know, batteries and big boxes of Sharpies, coffee. What is this? Decorative items. Um, paper towel, toilet paper. Uh, a lot of coffee, actually. There were a lot of like K-cups and whatnot. Just random stuff. There's some coffee. <clears throat> These are, I love staples. There's so much great stuff. And I have a problem with office supplies. I always end up hoarding stuff. Here we've got like large rolls of craft paper. These are like, I remember right, a hundred something, 120 or something like that each in the store. Uh, we'll probably put them in the special buy area for like 40 bucks a piece, something like that. Um, let's see, what, what is this? This looks fancy. Laminator, fancy laminator. Uh, the staples, there are some returns on it, but it's mostly new or freight damaged items. Um, I, this is manifested. I very briefly looked at the manifest and I did see there was a bill counter. So I'm hoping that's on here because <clears throat> it'd be a lot easier during the warehouse sales to count the, the cash uh, before the deposits. We got like ocean spray and I don't even know what that is, some sort of beverage. Gloves and printer paper and all sorts of fun stuff. So let's go look. There's some Amazon ones up here, a couple of them. So we can look in here. We've got a stroller. Ugh, I don't know what this thing is. Yoga mat. Uh, here we've got a bathroom fan. Like I don't get enough of those from Home Depot. Oh, I can't reach. There we go. This is, I don't know what this is. Subwoofer maybe? Feels like a subwoofer. Maybe. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Uh, what else? It is such a tight squeeze through here. We've got a dog crate. There were a couple of those that I saw already. Uh, what is this? Speakers. Here we've got a stroller. Uh, a thing. Some stuff. What is this? Paper shredder, I think. Well, I wish the really good stuff was on top. Uh, I found a 3D printer. I found a $400 bidet toilet seat. Uh, what else? I'm trying to think now. A $600, according to Tim. He has a newborn, so I will take his, his word on it. Stroller. Uh, just all sorts of great stuff. Let's go to the back where there's more. And I'll show you those. I'm going to try and keep this one under 20 minutes, folks. So... Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna do another Q&A video soon too, because that should be, uh, that'll be fun. I'm trying to think of videos. So, you know, to get these regular videos in, I'm gonna need your help with that, letting me know what the heck should I talk about? What should I show you while we, while I'm doing these? Um, there's some Target stuff that got tossed on top of these as we were going through. And we've got a little Ottoman here, uh, bug vacuum. That's whatever that is, is probably trash. Cushions, furniture. What's in here? Ah, there we go. A hammock. Oh, that's Target. Uh, what else? Uh, looks like part of a trampoline. Upper bounce. I don't know if this is the whole trampoline or if it's just the little fence that goes around it. We got a comforter here. 
Uh, looks like an air purifier, blinds. Blinds are never fun, but uh, some sort of bed. It looks like it might be for a pet, given the size. Uh, bell, whatever that is. Maybe uh, for like a bike seat or something, like a, a children's bike seat. Uh, what else? We've got beverage dispensers, bottle sterilizer, a little shelving unit, uh, works leaf blower. So you can see there's more brand name stuff in here. Um, and some of this actually is going on eBay. We just sold a polisher for 120 bucks on eBay that came out for one of these. Uh, some pool related thing, maybe a net. I can't really see. I don't have a great angle here. Uh, let's see. Exercise mat. It's super thick. That's a big box. Uh, what is this? Something medical related. Ten bags of five, so probably medical supplies. Uh, piece of furniture, maybe. What else we got? More furniture. That might be a mattress or something. Bed story topper. Don't know what that meant. Well, once expanded, it cannot go back in the box. So it's probably a mattress topper. Uh, what else? Uh, we've got, looks like a litter box, self-clean litter box, a lawnmower. What is this? Extra tall retractable gate. Whoa, look at this toilet seat. Oh, this might be going home with me. I mean, I have to have a toilet seat that has gold dust in it. Gold flakes. Uh, let's see, a gate extension. What is this? A rigid shop vac. Let's take a look over here. Uh, some sort of car seat accessory. That I can't pull out. Coffee maker. A stick for a pinata. A pinata. What is this? Wood. Oh, a log rack. Some sort of brush with like rubber bristles. We've got a pillow that I'm told is for adult activities. Whatever this is, looks like. uh, maybe not as fancy. That might be like an air purifier or something. Uh, probably a folding chair or something like that. What else we got? Yeah, I can't really see in here that well. Uh, let's see, there's another pallet there. I gotta walk around though. So let's, oh, almost 18 minutes in. Gotta make this quick. All right, we've got some bar stools, some sort of Con Air product, assuming that's the correct box. Oh, hair dryer, fancy hair dryer. What's in here? A uh, Minnie Mouse sofa chair. Oh, losing stuff. Uh, some sort of bedding or pillow or something. Uh, Graco product. Sport Cub S2. A bedside toilet. I, I could use one of those. Then I then I won't have an in bed toilet. By that I mean I poop in the bed. Doesn't everyone know? That's the most convenient place to do it. Um, let's see if I can see anything in here. Alpine Corporation, whatever that is. Here you go, a fountain. Uh, let's see, toilet. It says toilet paper, but that's a really fancy logo. What we got here? What? Huh? Huh? That wasn't in there. I don't know where that came from. That's, uh, I'm gonna test. I need to test this. This is. Skid shot. It's got, oh, this might be the best thing ever. Oh, I am so happy. I think that's where I'm going to leave you on this video because I, I need to go play with this. Thankfully, it's a Sunday because I'm not getting any work done today. So anyways, that is what we've got. Uh, I'm excited to get more videos out this year, uh, get more content out. Maybe I'll even take one of those sponsorships that they email me 40 times a week all different companies. A lot of them seems really sketchy though. So yeah, um, you never know. 
but I'm not definitely not going to do that if I'm doing one video mo a month. So yeah, uh, I want your ideas. What do you want to see? Oh, here, I'll quick show you this. This is the Target and Walmart. I'm kind of uh, building pallets like this, you know, 500 units for like 300 bucks. I'm going to try and sell some of the stuff that we have a lot of. Uh, and that's kind of what it looks like. This one isn't full yet. This is like 300 units. I'm going to try and get 500 in here. Anyway, what do you want to see? What type of videos, what topics should I cover? Um, if we start doing sponsorships, then we can start doing exciting videos. Like, hey, this random palette that there's no way I'm going to ever make any money on. Let's order it and see what we find. So we can do stuff like that, which is why I'm considering doing sponsorships because I'm not going to go and spend 900 bucks on a palette just for a video because that's not good business and that would make this a very expensive hobby so tell me what you want to see i want to do more videos i want to try and do weekly at the lowest so anyways that's all i've got hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one